In the golden age of steam engines, the Fowler B6 called Talisman stood above all others as the pinnacle of British engineering. But today, they are all but extinct, with most left for scrap. For one man, it is the lifelong dream to fix that. With a little help from his old friend Guy Martin and longtime supporters Morris Lubricants, Alex Sharphouse has set himself the near impossible challenge of recreating Talisman from scratch in time for the Shrewsbury Steam Rally. Can Alex turn his dream into reality? In How to Build a Steam Engine. With the plans now in place, it's time for Alex and Guy to start the herculean task of manufacturing all the individual components of Talisman, which once completed and assembled, will transform into the iconic shape of this famous road locomotive. Some of the components like the boiler, the belly tank and the tender are still fabricated and then riveted together. Whilst the main cylinder block is more complex and will need to be designed, prepared and then cast. A difficult process, as Alex found out. So once it's cast, the next job's to machine it. So you set to um, working from the drawings, you bolt it to a big boring machine and set off, put flat face on it and then work from that to make sure everything's parallel and there's literally uh, hundreds of hours of machining in that to get it right. Quite a critical part of the, the engine that if that wasn't right you would everything else would be wrong. But uh, successful with that. Um, there's a lot of, more other castings that were done at the same time which are part of the engine side of it where bracketry and what they call the way shaft bracket which holds the slide bars for the pistons. Um, but yeah no that all, that all went really well. Although the large components look impressive at this early stage with months of hard work ahead of them just to complete the boiler work of Talisman, Alex and Guy are under no illusion as to the scale of the task before them. It's not easy. It's not like easy you're at doing all. a lot of learning. Yeah. I'm just on the outside of it doing just yeah. what, what, are you but, do, what are you doing. And the other thing that you forget about all this thing back in the day, they had hundreds of men, didn't they? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Chuck blokes yes, in it. Chuck so blokes, like, just yeah, chuck yeah, blokes. Yeah. So that, like, that needs filing flat. So there'll be like 50 blokes all with yeah. files going on. There's like me and Jack, and it's like, well, that's going to take a bit of time to get that flat or whatever it, whatever it is. Or like you look at the holes in it. it I, I'll count up one day how many holes is in building a steam engine. It is one or two. Bloody thousands. And once you've drilled the hole, you've got to fill it then, put a rivet in rivet, it, put a bolt it in it. Well, that was just when I was with you that's last it. time. That's it, you've rivets seen what's involved yeah. in it. But if we don't do it, like it's, it's not going to be done, is it? It's not going to be done. It's going to be us, forgotten. And if our generation gonna... now, when we're like doddering old, old sticks and like seventy-year-old, yeah. the next generation aren't going to suddenly go and build a steam engine because I've heard about them. They'll be busy but... resurrecting Spectrum. Spectrum. They'll be resurrecting yeah. Spectrum. They won't Spectrum. be buggering about with Norman Box's yeah. talismans. No, they won't be buggering about with stuff like that. It'll be vintage iPhones and that, won't they? Next on how to build a steam engine: constructing a seven-foot wheel. Yeah, it's an amazing job, uh, better than I could ever have imagined when we first started. 